think we need to keep you in for a few days. We need a bed for Mr. Salter. And we need to do a scan on the heart muscle. So can you bring Amersham and get some Pallium 201 urgently? This is the Sydney General Hospital here. I'd like to order some Thallium 201. It's urgent. Within 48 hours, the contents of that vital package will help the doctor to diagnose the condition and perhaps save the life of that patient in Sydney, Australia. At any time, from anywhere in the world, Amersham International may receive urgent requests for its products via a sophisticated communications network. Apart from urgent cases like the one we've seen, Amersham and its subsidiary companies overseas receive orders and dispatch products as a matter of routine by air, road, sea and rail to all parts of the world. Many of these products contain small amounts of radioactivity and some, when given to a patient who is then examined with a scanning device, will produce high quality images which allow the doctor to make a fast, accurate and comprehensive diagnosis of the condition of an organ or gland. Here, for example, is Mr. Salter's heart scan. Radioactive materials can also be used to analyse small quantities of body fluids to determine the condition of a specific organ. Patients with malignant disease can be treated with radiation emitted by a radioactive source. Apart from their use in medicine, radioactive products are widely used in medical and other life sciences research and in industry. Radioactive materials form part of international trade. Every year, millions of consignments are handled by shippers and transport operators all over the world. The effective life of radioactive products is often short and they're usually packed in small containers. So air transport is frequently used to ship them. So for those who work in the transport industry, whether by air, road, rail or sea, radioactive products are almost bound to make an appearance. International and national regulations control the packaging and handling of these products to ensure the safety of the public and those who have to handle them. There's much misunderstanding and unnecessary fear of radioactivity. In this program, it will be demonstrated that when properly packaged and correctly handled, radioactive products are no more hazardous than many other materials being shipped every day. When radioactivity is explained and understood, and its use in medicine, research and industry appreciated, anxiety will be seen to be misplaced and delays in transit avoided. Delays which can sometimes put patients at risk. Radioactivity, and therefore radiation, has existed since the world began. It's present in our own natural environment, in rocks, soil, water and vegetation. Some radiation comes from the sun, 
and natural radioactivity is present in the food we eat and in our own bodies. There are also man-made sources of radiation, including X-rays, luminous watch dials, nuclear power plants, and of course, medical and industrial products. The source of radiation is the atom, the smallest unit of an element. Atoms of most of the familiar elements are stable, but some are unstable, and these are said to be radioactive. An unstable or radioactive atom emits energy in the form of radiation as particles or rays. As the atoms of an element give up their energy in this way, the radioactivity diminishes. This is called radioactive decay. Eventually, the radioactivity almost disappears. The time taken for radioactive substances to decay varies from seconds to thousands of years. And the time taken for half the radioactive atoms in a substance to decay is known as its half-life. This is particularly important when transporting healthcare products, because if the radioactivity decays too far, the product cannot be used. A radioactive substance continually emits radiation which cannot be seen or felt. It can, however, be detected and its intensity measured by a suitable radiation detector. There are three main types of radiation, each with different properties. The first type of radiation, alpha particles, has little penetrating power and can be stopped by a sheet of paper or the first layer of skin. The second type, beta particles, can penetrate up to one or two centimeters of water or flesh, but can be stopped by a few millimeters of metal. The third type is gamma radiation. Some gamma rays have great power of penetration and need a suitable thickness of lead or concrete to reduce them to a safe level. Intact and properly designed packages for radioactive materials will prevent emission of alpha and beta radiation and will minimize the gamma radiation level. Radioactive materials can be in the form of a liquid, solid or gas. They can present two kinds of hazard to the human body. The first is external radiation from sources outside the body, which ceases when the source is removed. The second is internal radiation from material which has entered the body and which persists until it's excreted or the radioactivity decays. These are the four basic principles which, if applied, minimize these hazards. Firstly, radioactive materials must be properly shielded to reduce the radiation intensity. For example, alpha particles will not penetrate a glass container, beta particles can be stopped by metal, and gamma rays can be reduced to a safe level by dense materials such as lead. Secondly, the further away you are from a radioactive source, the less powerful are its effects. The amount of radiation reduces in inverse proportion to the square of the distance from the source. In other words, if you double your distance from the source, the radiation is reduced to a quarter. Thirdly, the time of exposure to a radiation source must be kept to a minimum. As in sunbathing, the longer you expose yourself to the sun's rays, the more sunburnt you become. Fourthly, containment. Typically, all radioactive materials before they're packed for transport are put into vials or capsules, depending on their intended use. Some applications need more radioactivity than others, and in those cases, Specially tested indispersible solids or robust containment capsules are used. These are known as special form capsules or materials. The packaging and handling in transit of radioactive materials are very strictly controlled by international and national regulations which apply the four basic safety principles. 